We have some fantastic news to offer today that will undoubtedly make people smile across Canada. The Canada Revenue Agency, or CARE, recently announced that they will be supporting our incredible seniors by distributing $2,800 in direct deposits. It resembles an unexpected present from the government. Let's get into the specifics now. To whom specifically is this handsome reward applicable? It's reserved for seniors who fulfill the requirements established by the KRA. We'll guide you through the prerequisites and ensure that everyone is aware of their eligibility for this beneficial assistance. And don't worry, we'll offer advice to assist you figure it out if you're unsure. However, what makes this reward so unique? Imagine seeing an extra $2,800 in your bank account when you wake up one morning. That's a big help, particularly for elderly people who might be having financial difficulties. Whether this money is spent for fun things to make the day more joyful or for necessities like bills and groceries, it may really make a difference. Still, it's a genuine show of gratitude for our seniors that goes beyond simple cash support. The CARA is showing its appreciation for the significant contributions elders have made to our communities throughout the years by offering this additional support. It's a sincere method of expressing gratitude and demonstrating that their welfare comes first. The Old Age Security OAS Pension, which offers a monthly payment to the majority of Canadians 65 and older, regardless of their income level, is one of the most well-known and extensively used programs. In addition, the Guaranteed Income Supplement, or GIs, provides a non-taxable benefit on top of the OAS pension for those with lesser earnings, helping to elevate these people over the poverty line. But in recent months, many seniors have experienced severe financial difficulty due to growing living expenses and inflationary pressures, making it harder for them to make ends meet. In light of this, the Canada Revenue Agency, or CARE, has announced a sizable one-time payment of $2,800 for qualified seniors. This announcement is expected to give individuals who are struggling much needed relief and support. Prior to delving into the particulars of this latest declaration, let us pause and scrutinize the more extensive background of senior benefits in Canada. In recognition of the priceless contributions our elders have made to our society and the difficulties they may encounter in their later years, we as a country have a long-standing tradition of helping them through a variety of government initiatives and programs. For seniors in Canada, the Old Age Security OAS Pension is arguably the most well-known and accessible program. Most Canadians 65 years of age and older are eligible for this pension, which is financed by general tax revenues regardless of their income level or work experience. The goal of the OAS pension is to offer a modest but steady stream of income to assist in paying for necessities like housing, food and utilities. The Guaranteed Income Supplement, or GIs, is an essential part of the Canadian senior benefits system in addition to the OAS pension, providing low-income seniors with extra financial support beyond their OS pension is the explicit goal of this non-taxable benefit. Because the GIs is income tested, a person's or couple's annual income from sources including employment, investments, and private pensions determines their eligibility and the amount they receive. Seniors in Canada may be eligible for a number of other benefits and tax credits in addition to these two main programs, depending on their particular situation. For example, low-income people 60 to 64 who are the spouses or common law partners of GI's recipients can receive additional support through the allowance and allowance for the survivor programs. The Canada Pension Plan, or CPP, offers retirement income based on an individual's contributions made during their working years. It's important to remember that these benefits are dynamic, they are constantly evaluated and modified to remain relevant in light of rising living expenses and to guarantee that seniors in Canada are adequately served. These initiatives have undergone a number of updates and upgrades over time, demonstrating the government's dedication to helping our aging population. Let's now focus on the recent announcement that has caused seniors and their families in Canada to become quite excited and aware. The Canada Revenue Agency, or CRA, announced plans to give qualifying seniors nationwide a $2,800 lump sum payment. This sizable contribution is meant to give much needed financial relief during these difficult economic times and help offset the rising cost of living. The choice to provide this lump sum payment recognizes the disproportionate effect that rising living costs and inflation have had on a large number of seniors, especially those with fixed or low incomes. Many seniors have found themselves struggling to make ends meet due to the rising costs of needs like housing, food, and health care. They are frequently forced to make difficult decisions between paying for basics and maintaining their quality of life. For those who qualify, the $2,800 refund will be a huge financial boost. According to the RA, 
the money will be transferred straight into their bank accounts, so they won't need to apply or take any further steps. This simplified procedure not only guarantees that the funds get to the people who need them the fastest, but it also gets rid of any obstacles or issues that might come up from a more involved application process. The following requirements must be satisfied in order for someone to be eligible for this one-time reward. One is to reside in Canada. Second, as of the date, be at least 65 years old. Three, get the pension from old age security or OAS. Fourth, be eligible for the GIs or guaranteed income supplement. It is noteworthy that seniors who do not receive the GIs at this time will not be qualified for this payment. Since the GIs is a means tested benefit, a person's or couple's annual income determines their eligibility. Higher earners or those with substantial assets may not be eligible for the GIs, which means they won't be able to get the $2,800 dividend. The CAR A has made it clear that this one-time payment is meant to be a targeted action to give urgent financial aid to those who are most in need, not a long-term or recurrent benefit. It does, however, underscore the government's continued dedication to helping Canadian elders and tackling the particular difficulties they encounter, especially during uncertain economic times. It's important to understand that the $2,800 payout, while definitely a nice development for many seniors, is not a magic bullet for the larger problems pertaining to retirement income and the cost of living for our aging population. It will need persistent work and all-encompassing policy measures to guarantee that seniors in Canada may continue to live comfortably and have access to the resources they deserve for a dignified and secure retirement. Importance of financial literacy and retirement preparation before we talk about these payouts and benefits, it's critical to understand the significance of sound financial planning. It can be difficult to comprehend the different government programs, the requirements for eligibility, and how to use these resources, particularly for people who are not familiar with the complexities of the system. Being financially literate is possessing the information, abilities, and self-assurance needed to handle finances, save money, and invest. This can be especially important for seniors adjusting to fixed incomes, possible medical costs, and the requirement to stretch their retirement resources over a longer time frame. Understanding the various retirement income streams and how they interact to provide a solid financial foundation is one of the fundamental components of financial literacy. Many people also rely on private pensions, personal savings, and investments to augment their income in retirement, even while government programs like the GI as an OS pension are important. Efficient retirement planning is thinking ahead of time about your ideal way of life, projected costs, and possible revenue streams. This enables people to optimize their financial resources by learning more about options like tax-free savings accounts, TFCs, and registered retirement savings plans, RSPs, and to make educated decisions regarding investing and saving tactics.